In today's video, we're going to talk about Selenium Lighthouse. And first, we're going to start by presenting a PowerPoint, talking about the details of Selenium Lighthouse, and then I'll show you some code examples afterwards. So first, let's talk about the impact on user experience. The speed, um, so some things that might impact the user experience is, for example, the speed it takes to load a page. Um, also, we have, um, for example, how easy it is to find what I'm looking for, how well the site fits my screen, how simple the site is to use. And just so you know, these percentages, um, these are, um, this is from a survey that has been done previously, um, showing that 75% of users said that this affects their user experience. So um, we see that it's very important how fast the website loads, how easy it is to find things, and how, um, how well this uh, site fits the screen. Some other things is how attractive the site looks. Now let's talk about Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is an open source automated tool and a part of Google Developers uh, Tools Suite. It is designed to improve the quality and performance of web pages by providing audits, insights, and diagnostics. Lighthouse can be used to test web pages against a set of best practices, performance metrics, and other guidelines to assess their overall quality and identify areas for improvement. The primary focus of Lighthouse is on web development accessibility, and progressive web app compliance, best practices, and search engine optimization factors. It generates comprehensive reports with actionable recommendations to help developers optimize their website and create a better user experience for their visitors. Lighthouse performs a series of audits on a web page. It simulates real-world scenarios on various devices and network conditions, and then generates a report with scores and detailed information on different aspects of the page. Some of the metrics it evaluates includes uh, page loads to speed, time to interactive, accessibility for users with disabilities, adherence to best practices, and PWA features like offline support and installation capabilities. It has become one of the most valuable tools for web developers and website owners who want to ensure their sites are optimized, accessible, and user-friendly. So I'm going to show you some things that you have to do in order to run Lighthouse with uh, Python and Selenium on your own local computer. So I'm going to show you some commands here, but later um, you'll see the project itself. So first thing you can do is you can install Lighthouse using npm. Um, and then um, you can use Selenium Python to run the web ties and then um, execute CMD for the Lighthouse. Um, so um, how to use Lighthouse to measure authenticated pages behind login pages. So later we'll show you how to do this. Um, uh, this is how you can do it. And the main thing is you have to use um, these uh, arguments, so remote debugging. So you first you set up your Chrome options, you set your web driver, uh, and then you have to um, do some other stuff. Oh, oh and also, um, so yeah, so right here what you have to do is um, you have to pass the port number to Lighthouse um, in your command uh, right here. So for example, um, right here we have our Selenium commands where we, um, we use Chrome options to set our port number 9222. Well, later on, you'll have to pass this port number to Lighthouse itself in your command line um, in order to run it uh, with command Selenium. But yeah, so I'll show you how this is all done in our code in a bit. All right, so if you found that a little confusing well let's um, let's start with our own little code example and I think everything will make sense afterwards so first I'm just gonna I have this project open but I'm not gonna use anything else in this project I'm just gonna go ahead to the test uh, folder right here and I'm gonna create a new file uh, I'm gonna create a file for today's project so uh, we're gonna name it um, test selenium and we'll name it by house Okay, go ahead and press enter, we create this new file. So to begin with, let's import some of the things that we need. So um, we'll begin by importing some of, um, for example, we're importing time, OS, web driver, action chains, Chrome driver manager options, by service, and action. And so we'll import all of these. And then we'll go ahead and we'll write our first test. So we're going to call it test underscore one. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, first let's set up the Chrome options. So we're going to do Chrome underscore options. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're just going to create an instance for it. So options, and then we're going to do a uh, set of arguments for it. So that add argument, um, and the argument I'm going to add is, um, let me show you. So I'm going to specify the port number basically. Um, and, um, so this is what I was mentioning earlier in the, in the PowerPoint is we're going to set the port number for this Chrome options to 9,222. Um, and so with that, what I'm going to continue to do, um, so what this does is this creates a port number where you can access it with Lighthouse. And so now that we have that port number, I'm going to first do a few more things. I'm going to uh, create a driver. I'm going to create a driver and it's going to be webdriver.chrome options is equal to Chrome options. And then I'm going to set a URL to equals to this is going to be a URL that we're going to go to and visit and basically get the Lighthouse report for. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go driver.get URL. So we go to the URL. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do time. And we're just going to sleep for two seconds so that we make sure everything on the URL loads. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to run Lighthouse. And so in order to run Lighthouse, we're going to use, um, we're going to use OS where we can um, uh, send commands to the command prompt using the package OS right here. And so uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the command that we're going to be using. So we're just going to make it a string. So it's just going to be Lighthouse, um, Lighthouse space. Uh, and I'm just going to, so in case I don't, I don't want to mess up. So I'm just going to actually copy the command over. So I'm going to delete this, but I'll just show you the command. We're doing lighthouse and then we're pasting the URL that we're going to, and then we're showing the port number. So it connects this to the Selenium project. And then we're going to put an output path for where we're saving it and the output path, uh, output type as HTML. So with that, we can use OS, uh, OS system, and then it will tell it to pass this command into the command prompt. And then we can do driver.quit, uh, to close the Selenium, uh, driver. So let's see what this does. So it opens up a window, I'm dragging over. Um, and it will basically generate a report for this web page. And you can see now it's using Lighthouse to generate a report. So in Lighthouse, what it does is it tests a various different um, configurations for a website. So you can see it, it's shifting the web page to, for example, this side of the screen, or like all of the screen, and it's just seeing if it's accessible on all types of different uh, devices. Um, so this is one way we can uh, use Lighthouse with Selenium. Um, there's some other ways as well, but this is the way that I found most intuitive. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys. But yeah, so that's um, basically how you can run the report and the report we specified to this directory right here. So you can access it right here, open up the report. Um, since it's an HTML file, we'll have to use a a web browser to open it. So let's go open ahead and open it in a browser. We use Firefox and we see that this is a report. So uh, performance is pretty well. Um, we see um, this is how long uh, we, it takes to open certain uh, certain elements in our web page. Um, and there's some other metrics that you can look through, accessibility, best practices, SEO, and so on. Um, this might be really interesting for you to look at for your own website. So um, yeah, go ahead and uh, try this out on your own. So that's one way, uh, one thing that we can do with uh, this. Um, so another thing we can do is um, we can access authenticated pages as well. Um, and this is where um, the power of using Selenium in conjunction with Lighthouse comes in. Um, and what I, what, what I mean by using uh, authenticated pages as well is, for example, if I go to my web page right here, and let's say I want to go to the golf course portion and I want to add a golf course. So I want to add a golf course. So I'll actually have to log in to this web page before I can do anything. So, um, um, and once I log in, then I can add a golf course afterwards. So we can overcome this by uh, first telling Selenium to log in first. And then after you logged in already, we pass the port over to Lighthouse and then it can see um, whatever is behind the login page and those authenticated pages as well. So let's go ahead and write a second test. Um, and in this one, we're going to try and access an authenticated page. 
So again, um, since this is similar, we're just going to pass Chrome options. I'll just pass that over. It's the same thing right here. Um, and then since um, uh, we'll do some other things as well. So for example, we'll set up the web driver. Uh, so let me just paste this over. So we set up the web driver. So, you know, we uh, set up the Chrome options web driver. Uh, same thing as above. Well, we have the URL and we're maximizing the window and all that. Now, uh, this is where the difference comes. So let's uh, first do this. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to tell the driver to go to this web page. Um, and notice that this is not the same as this link up here. And uh, what we're going to tell it to do is we're going to sleep it for, uh, we're going to sleep for two seconds again. So everything loads. Um, and this time, what we're going to do is we're going to specify something called clickable. Um, and basically, clickable is um, this element. And it's this form. Uh, it's this button right here. And if we look at our web page, uh, we go to golf course right here. This is the button that we have for clickable. And what we're going to tell it to do is we're going to tell it to run some action chains. And if you don't know what action chains are, it's okay. You can go and look at our other video about action chains, but we're just going to do an action chain. And then we're going to sleep for three seconds. And then what this action chain basically does is it tells the web page to click on this and then um, get, go to here. So after that, uh, we'll have that login page. And what we're going to tell it to do is we're going to tell the email, we're going to tell it the email is equal to, um, so the email field, uh, we're going to uh, pass it by, we're going to find the email field. So this is um, basically telling it to find this field right here. And then we're going to do another action chain. right here, and then we're going to fill in our email. And then what we're going to do um, is the password. So um, for the password, uh, we're going to paste this and we're just going to import some password right here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to log in. We're going to tell it to log in. Um, so this is the login button. We're going to tell it to log in. And after it logs in, we're going to sleep for three seconds and make sure everything loads. So now uh, we can have access to authenticated pages now. And now what we do is we access, uh, we run um, Lighthouse. So again, same thing as above. We specify the command, but this time we're using Lighthouse 2 as the output file so it doesn't overwrite the previous one. And then we're just passing the command over with the port number 9222 because that's the one we set up here as well. And then after that, we can do driver.quit. And yeah, so let me show you how this works. So here we go. It'll basically click add golf course. It'll enter the email and password, and then it'll wait three seconds. And now uh, it waits and makes sure everything loads. And then now it'll basically run Lighthouse on this. And now you can see it's running Lighthouse. It's moving um, the screen to different configurations, seeing how accessible it is on different devices and so on. So it's done Lighthouse running. It's done running Lighthouse, or it's still running, but uh, once it's done, you'll see it generates a report right here. And now we can open this report uh, in the browser. And we see that this is basically the web page. <coughs> this is the different fields. So yeah, so this is one way to run Lighthouse with Selenium in Python. Um, I'm sure you can find some other ways online, but this way I found was like one of the simplest ways to run it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you next time.